Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We've got a couple of Kill Karen eight year old. They're they're the same, but they're different. What? Same but different. Kill Karen. But you can see the difference. We're gonna test it. We're gonna test it. Kill Karen style, baby. Sherry Kill cast Karen. bourbon cast style. Well, visually, you've got an extravaganza you can say already. Okay. New bottling. Set it. Sherry cask. Yes. Kill Karen eight year old cask strength. Last year's yes. Kill Karen eight year old cask strength. Dusty on the shelf, on a, waiting well, to be reviewed. Yeah, on, our it's on our shelf. I'm pretty sure we've looked at these live. We had them. For, I've got a bottle at home as well. We got one from Adam Clary after our fifth year. I do like to kill Karen, and yeah. I've seen them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Campbelltown region. Um, you get a little bit of that almost Springbank funk in there with it. We'll see how much. Now, like I say, last year's. If you're looking in the states, you're going to find this one everywhere, or for the most part, in a lot of places. Um, Fifty-six point two percent. Now, this is the only Great way. Percentage. That's the only way you can tell the difference. If you look at the cans, yes, on the shelf, they're exactly the same. Right. Yeah. But this year's uh, fifty-seven point one percent. Now, this is a seven hundred milliliter. I only I had to go to the UK to get this one. <laughs> It's not available in the States yet, but supposedly there is a limited quantity coming to the States that would be in a 750 mm. milliliter. But yeah, you've got to look at that percentage uh, variation to tell. And I don't or, see where a year, is there a year on here? No, uh -uh. no, okay. they're exactly the same except for the EBV. Or you're gonna have to open up the can, pull out the bottle and look and go, there's the sherry cast wow. one. There's the one that's not wow. sherry cast. Or you may be video recorded if you do that. <laughs> no, I've done it because I've been in a couple of stores here in the last couple of weekends and I see the Kill Karen eight year old castring mm -hmm. and I open up the can. I'm like, oh, is that the new one? And I look and I'm like, nope. Got it. So um, let's take a look at last year's though, real quick. Mm -hmm. Just the, uh, the ex bourbon cast and it's what I say, 56. 56.2%. So very light. I mean, especially I've got 314 and 315. Look at the light difference there. Yeah. yeah. And I've got 318 and 319. You can see it on the camera, the difference in the color. Yeah. So we are starting with last year's, uh, the golden color. Very gold. I get a lot of maltiness. Vanilla. Slight. Sweetness, maybe a little tropical. Mm. See, I get a sweet vanilla with tropical notes, dry mm. tropical notes. Very nice. Maybe a hint of the grassiness as well. Excuse Ooh. me. What do you got on flavor? Really? Flavor punch, citruses and vanillas, mm. light oaks, high ABV, maltiness. Mm. I'm going to add a drop of water. I'll take a drop as well. Wow. It's funny because I got to admit, I was prejudging a little bit by the lightness in comparison. Oh, no. Boy, does it burst fly. I know. <laughs> it's just the trick of the eye. It's why they add <laughs> yeah. coloring you, to other li other whiskeys is because that trick of the eye, I was thinking this might be lighter. But even if you look at that, that's not really that light of a whiskey. No. I just got some smoked peanut. What was yeah. your coins, did you say? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, 318, 319. Now, I want to check. Mm. Do they say no coloring? Mm-hmm. Good. No chill filter? Right on the, well, on the tin, anyway. No got chill it. filter. Perfect. No added color. All over the back of that can, that tin, not on the bottle where I see it. Man, last year's eight-year-old uh, ex-bourbon cast is just a punch of flavor. Mm -hmm. High ABV. You know, not that much. Now, I'm going to tell you, there's, well, I'm not going to say anything yet. Um, do it. Do it. Vanilla, citruses. Yes, yes. A little bit of, of a sour oak, or not sour, a little bit of a, a moldy oak type, maybe. A hint of it here. Hint of that um, that Campbelltown region. Okay. But not much. Yeah, maybe right. dirt floor. I don't really want to say dunnage, because it's only eight years old. I don't think it would pick up that much from a dunnage warehouse. But maybe a little bit of a of a dirt 
almost, you think? Like you're walking into an old cellar down the wooden stairs and okay. a slight dust is rising. I would rising. almost say like that old wooden stair case. Mm, okay. I'm with you. I get it's weird though. You're right. We're not saying it's old, old, but it's got that weird mm -hmm. grandma's basement mm -hmm. <laughs> flavor, if that makes sense. Not like you're living there. You're just visiting. You're just passing through. Right. Or you've been gifted a quilt. <laughs> and you're kind of like, now, oh, it's got a little grandma quilt. I'm even going to go, go with another <laughs> drop of water. I'll take another grandma's drop quilt. With you. Grandma's quilt. You know, we had a gal come by the station and she donated all of these. Gosh, what were they? They were like hot pads, I think. Or or hot pan holders kind of things. Oh. But it was funny. They were all knitted. And they all had that grandma smell, if that makes sense. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like a cross between Dunnage Warehouse and mothballs. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the to this year's version, the Sherry Cast version. Mm -hmm. um, and on the nose immediately is the Sherry right, and more, more of that dirt floor. Almost a wet dirt floor now along with the Sherry casking. Wow. The I light. Did, I did totally water cleanse and it's still there from the first one. The light vanilla and citrus notes are gone. You're into dark. Yeah. Fruity. Fruity. Yeah. Almost almost smoky type. Huh. But um, dank. <sighs> Moldy basement. So I get a little bit more of that wine, grape juice. Almost like you've left it in a glass too long and you're nosing it. And then you don't know if it's yours or your son's, so you toss it. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's interesting, though. And the palette. High ABV. A lot of flake concentrated flavors. Mm. That sherry cask has really overridden i mean there's none of these light citrus and vanilla notes they're mm. gone yep you're talking all sherry all oak all funk all moldy socks wow i didn't get that deep. i know that's a hell of a description i know moldy socks but it's that dunnage type dank campbelltown this is springbank same region as springbank and Springbanks to us sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, I mean, it's coming through a little bit here. Um, and I'm trying to decide if it's something I really dig or not. Because it is different. What is this region doing? I mean, what are, is yeah, what are the they doing different that yeah. causes it, it? What's the weather pattern in Campbellton that is well, doing this, though? We kind of went around. When we left Glasgow, you go around Campbelltown, oh. and then you double back oh. down to go to Isla. First of all, I just want you to say the first part of that sentence again. When we left Glasgow? I like the sound of it. <laughs> I like the sound of that. When we left Glasgow. Let me um, get a couple drops of that. I think when we left Glasgow, you go to the north, and you go around some, some lokes, and you come back to the south to Look go to Isla. You. And I think, you. I think in that region Lokes. is Campbelltown. Wow. Um, I'm with you. It's it's dusty, old, dirt, floored basement. It doesn't have a concrete floor to it. It's got a dirt floor. And I almost think if you had this blind, you would think it's much older because of it. I would agree. It, it gives it that dunnage feel where I'm seeing yeah. cobwebs and dust. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now, some people are really loving this, and it's the same. We're not the biggest Springbank fans of because of the funk. Some people love it. Some people don't. I don't. And, I mean, that's going on here. Is this really good? Or does it smell old? Or does it, or is does it, it just smell old? So people are like, mm. it's old. It's but good. I do like this year's Sherry Cask. Well, I 
They're both good. I prefer the sherry cask over last year's just because of that flavor. I would agree. There's a little bit more punch. of a flavor burst. Yeah. A lot of them. But they're both, both of them, for being, and they're both eight years. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Eight year old cast strength. That really is amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got to go with, I noser. really like it. I've got it's to go. It's a great noser. It really is. This is one of those. It knows this is a little more pear citrus. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot more. A lot more. You're right. Not a little more. A lot more. And That's I, amazing. That you, is weird. It you, smells old. It you smells might old. have a problem even saying these are from the same distillery mm -hmm. because of it. Mm -hmm. Different whiskeys altogether. Um, and, well, I'm, no, I'm holding on to my doodle, doodle buddy. Oh, your doodle buddy. Um, I've got to debate. But the I've, nose feels, smells older than the taste. So that's, that's got me in this weird predicament. <laughs> Cause I knows it and I'm thinking like 25 years old. And then I taste it and it definitely feels more like a 10 or an eight. Which is so weird. this is so this is for this year's sherry cask. I'll give that mm. ninety-two. Okay, oh. I haven't even looked. You're all right. Um, 80, 88. It doesn't hit me as anything. It's just it's like this cool experiment that I'm trying here. I mean, it's pleasant and it's fun and it's and it's enjoyable. But I feel more perplexed than anything else. The nose well, doesn't feel like it matches the flavor to me. When you when okay, so this does bring that Campbelltown character, that 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 funk. In the nose. When Not I first flavor. had it, I was like, okay, it's really strong in this one in the sherry cask. Do I like it or not? But man, each time I have it, and I've had at least wow. a third of the bottle, I've had several drams just to see. Yeah. But each time I have it, when I sip it, it's it's pleasurable. Mm. It's a pleasurable sipper, mm. but it doesn't feel old, mm. old, old. I do that. Okay, I do the. Mm. Sorry, I was talking mm. over your. Mm. 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 No, that was, that was good. I'm just. It took. I, I had you. to recreate yeah. it. I'm with you. That was a good recreation. Hence the 92, because I think it is. I I think I'm okay. really digging it. It's very um, interesting. Now, on last year's, I would go probably 89.90 okay. for me on last year's on the bourbon cast kill Karen. I mean, I tend towards the sherry. This one is, to me, is much better. What's weird is I would agree, which, but but I'm not sure. I would. Okay, 87. 87, 89. Okay. But I, so I almost choice. like the nose on both better. You are 100% right that the nose feels like some kind of 25-year-old whiskey. <laughs> yeah. And it's tripping me out on both of them. <laughs> yeah. Dunnage, cobwebs, old wood oak. Old if stuff. I, if I gave that to you blind and said that's a 25-year-old The nose would whiskey. trick me. The flavor would, the, the taste would be like, no, it isn't. But the nose would be like, yes, it is. I think both. I think the nose and the palate could even trick you. I mean, it's so well aged, so think well of, done. Think of that 23-year-old Craig Gallicky, though. Yeah. And it doesn't quite even have the richness of flavor mm -hmm. as that. It's the flavor that ticks into the eight year, I think. The nose says, that's what's crazy, though. The nose yells 25. And then I think the flavor says 10. Let's pause. The wife's called me twice. All right. Who in trouble for that one? The young lad was outside waiting while we were drinking whiskey. Um, so real quick, both of these, I believe, have been the same price point. Now, like I say, this one I had to go to the UK for, but it's only, it's a $70 bottle. Okay. Uh, I had to pay a little bit for shipping. For an eight year, though. 
That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, I mean, 60 to 70 maybe on this okay. one. We'll sure. see what this one is when it hits the States. Okay. It hasn't showed up yet. Um, and I would say this one might have been even 60 to 70 range, somewhere in there. But eight-year-old cast strength, I'll tell you what, if, if you didn't know it was eight-year-old, if you just went by the flavor profile, it's definitely worth it. Sure. Yep. I'll tell you. I'll agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Bo both of them. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. So don't, I mean, don't get hung up on the eight-year-old age statement. Judge Not hung is up. It is good. Yeah, it is, is the whiskey good. worth. It is good. So I don't want to get hung up on the eight because it's very, very flavorful. And the fact that they're both eight years old is, is impressive. You ready for a... We got a Patreon, probably a ooh, couple of Patreon couple shout outs to do. That's right. Let's break them in. I've got to, I had, I had the old computer up here because uh, we got a new computer. Sure. I can't tell though. The I camera, well, the camera software. Well, we'll talk to the new one. Didn't yet. talk to the new one yet, right. so I pulled out the old computer. Mm. All right, we got some uh, Patreon oh, shout outs to do. Go. I just had to pull them up on my and phone here real pull quick. Up. Pull See Richard there, he's a $3 supporter. Ooh. Richard Orr. He's got an oar and he's just going, baby. Come on, come on. Almost, nice. almost the same spot. That's good. Almost extra R. Richard, send us a picture if you want to. We'll put it in a future episode. Give you another shout out. Uh, Steve came in a two dollar supporter. You ready? That's right, Steve, Steve Moore. Moore. Come on down, baby. I wonder if it's Steven. I would have liked to be on Steven. Sure, do it. Stephen Moore. I think, I think Steve is always short for Stephen. Mm, I don't know. Bart is not short for Bartholomew or Bartholomew. Hmm. Just Interesting. Saying. Yeah, it's just Bart. How about uh, Jamie Prophet? Jamie Prophet. $1 yeah, supporter. Yeah, order. Patreon. Prophet in there. Double so, A, double T. Uh, thanks to everybody. Our Patreon supporters is what we call our bread and butter. It really helps keep the lights on, keeps the whiskey flowing, keeps yep. the show coming. If you like the show and you've not gone to Patreon, please go to Patreon. to search up Scotch Test Dummies. You can do a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, or even more than that if you want. You can always cap it. So don't worry, because we try to do 12 to 14, 15 shows a month. If we can yep. get to that level. <laughs> We're trying to keep that content coming. But if you like us, please go to Patreon. They say the more you mention Patreon, the more that folks like your show will come over and support now, you. Now, say real quick, you could do a dollar a show unlimited. Love and that. And it might cost you $12 a month. Sure. You could do a dollar a show but cap it at $5. Sure. Or you could do a dollar a show, cap it at $1. Or, as my mom says, you could do $100 a show with no cap. Well, you like that? Don't do that. That'd be like twelve hundred bucks. No, do it. What do you mean don't? Do it. Okay, do, do it. it. You can afford. You own yourself a hockey team, and you're like, I love these guys, and I own a hockey team. Pop. We would love that. I don't like hockey. I like hockey. The Avalanche is good out of Denver. Mm -hmm. Just. Sign. But I still take the support. A lot of skating. I'd, have, I'd learn it. They can check it. I would learn yeah, hockey. Would suddenly become fans. <laughs> <laughs> Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Slanja. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>